Good morning, good morning. Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Uh, Mike is working, okay, everything seems to be up and running well. Uh, so, uh, today we are back on to uh, working on our deck of cards simulator. So let's go ahead and get all this set up. Oh, I thought I told it to stop using that. Uh, maybe I need to actually fully uninstall Monaco Pro. Let's uninstall. Okay. Student Night Owl. I sort of was expecting it to say it was been set. I guess not. Okay, and then open up. Oh, I totally forgot. We have this as. Okay, so we have the front end and the back end here. I completely forgot that this uh we have a workspace for this. I actually want to save this workspace. Save workspace. Um, I'm going to put it on the desktop right now because I don't really know where I where I really want to put these. Uh, and so this is going to be, maybe we could just do like the current project. So like, then I can just uh, add that down here into the taskbar. It'll be easy to get started in the morning. Um, okay, so let's do this again. Uh, create terminal. I want this for the front end. I want Ubuntu 18. Okay, so that'll get started. Let's go ahead and also open up integrated terminal for the back end. Uh, in this case, it can be just PowerShell. That'll be fine because uh, we just run cargo. Uh, so we can try cargo watch again. We were getting some weird, like not working correctly last time. We'll see if it runs this time. And this, this always takes a while to get going. Um, okay, so. Look at 8080, and here we go. Okay, so let's take a look at our to-do. Uh, we have, as a player, I want to chat with other players. So um, I think we're pretty close to that right now if we don't already have it. Uh, so... I put myself in here. I create the game. Um, let's also add another one. So this is 6730. Other. Um, okay, so other join the room. Add that. Then I can say hi. Oh, we can't chat. Yeah, okay, so that's... Yeah, we definitely act actually have to fix that. Um, so, to properly chat, we need to send back the chat message, which I think that we're doing. Um, thank you, but I don't need you anymore. I've got you up. Um, okay, so in here. Okay, panic to called result unwrap on an error value missing field action on line one. So let's let's actually come back to 
for in the main library to get the broadcast with us. Right, then we're going to do the handle incoming message. So if we go to handle incoming message, uh, we can do this. And let's just go ahead and just debug this message. And so that way we'll see that, like in, in each one, like the message coming back and forth, we'll see the message being printed out. So at this point, we say hi. Uh, I guess we need to. We say hi. Uh, we get this. We get the message. This is when we create the game. And then we uh, we have a value missing field action. So let's head back here and look at our index for the store. When we I think it's like send. Create game. Send chat message. Okay. So we're going to want to follow the pattern that we created last time and use our API. Uh, and I think. I think that's just an API here, right? We want send chat message. Uh, we'll take the web socket um, and the message to send. Um, I guess we also need to send the name to stacking. Hello, good morning. Um, yeah, I believe we need to know the name of it. Oh, like who, who did that? Okay. Uh, oh, and the room ID. A lot of things. You started your day off by breaking Brash Bash profile and having zero memory on how to fix it. Oh, that's wonderful. I haven't yet broken anything, so there, there's that. That doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean I won't. But I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you um? So I'm, I'm curious because I know some people who do this, but I also know people that don't. Um, do you put your Bash profile, all your dot files, into GitHub? I think it's just those. So we need to create the message first. You do not. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say like, I I I've like I've tried doing it before, but then I like I don't keep it up to sync with like GitHub. So it like quickly became not not a good backup. Um, wait a second. Did you not? Okay. That's weird. Uh, all right. So we need to create this message here, but I'm thinking that I might want to like just down here have a message, um, like just do a builder pattern for a message. And this, this might actually be, let's just create a message here, uh, and we're going to do, I'm almost thinking that if we do um, like a message, okay, we could do like a message builder. It could be an object. I, I don't see a reason not to do this as a class. So we could just do class message builder. Well, look at that. What's going on here? Uh, 
auto closing brackets. Language defined. Yes. Once I was able to get Bash working again, I was able to fix the profile. It was not having Bash. Whoa, so you lost Bash. Oh, oh. Okay, so is... Okay, I wanna just check to see if it's, if it's Copilot. It is Copilot. Copilot is preventing me from having. Oh. That seems. That seems wrong. Okay, so just turn it back on again. Yeah, and you're just immediately not working anymore because it wants to do this. Oh, interesting. Okay. So this is this is interesting. I mean it's close but not exactly. So we will do a constructor. Um so we'll do yep, that'll be fine. Then, um, so we do this message builder. What are you upset about? Oh, define but every user. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, so this that message. So, what are the different little pieces of the message? We know we need the action. So we're gonna want, um, actually instead of like this that message, I want like this dot, um. We're gonna do, uh, I don't even need a constructor for this. Um, we're gonna have a set action, okay? Uh, this set action equals action, okay? Um, and then what else, what else are we gonna care about here? So if we go into our command, no, it's not command. It's um, the message. So our custom message, we have action, and then we have this data. And the data is, okay, it's going to be message data, which is, I guess, just down here somewhere. Message data, player name, and room ID. Okay, so player name, room ID. Okay, then we're gonna have a build. Um, and I probably want to throw an error if it doesn't have the, the appropriate things. So I don't wanna do like a... Well, do I wanna just do this? We're just return that. No, 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 it can't exactly be like this. It needs a data inside of it. So it's close. So. Um, we can. Turn. 
Then we're gonna have, okay, so action is the set action. Then we're gonna have data. Uh, yep, it's gonna be chosen like that. Um, okay, so then player name. So yes, at this point, but Yeah, okay, so it's gonna be player underscore name and room underscore ID. So, name, stop player name, room ID, let's do room ID, okay. All right, so that's how we're gonna build this. Then we can head back to our API and we're gonna create the message. New message. Um, new message builder. But there's nothing to do in here. Um, then. Then we have all our sets. So like set action. Um, So we get to make this one up. So our set action is gonna be probably send chat. Yeah, like probably just chat. Okay, set room ID, uh, pass it in the room ID, uh, set player name. So action, player name, room ID. So. So player name and the name. Then we can build. Oh, and if we're doing this, it has to return itself, doesn't it? Yeah, that, that's a problem. So in here, for each of these, set action, this okay so this message doesn't need to be passed in oh actually no wait hold on uh, uh chat message definitely does need to be passed in so we need a new thing in here so inside of data we're gonna have maybe like a chat message. So this dot chat message. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Then inside of here, message. This dot chat message. Yeah, I think that could work. Yeah, maybe we can just change this to just message. Okay, so then that's great and all. We're gonna build that. It gives us a message here. Oh, you don't know how to pull this in, do you? Import. Oh, you don't have to pull this in because I didn't export default. Okay, for default you come back here. Actually, I might be able to just do this through here now. So. There we go. Auto pull then. Perfect.
So now when we send the message, uh, we just need to not do that. Uh, we then need to do the WebSocket, send JSON stringify this message. There we go. So then we're going to go back to index and uh, we're going to call this. So. This is in the store. Send chat message. Okay, so then you, we're gonna get the chat message. Uh, and so we're gonna say, hey, API, send chat message. Uh, state the WebSocket and the chat message. Okay. All right, so then, uh, we should be able to see this all send off. So in cargo here. Well, that didn't work. Um, okay, so thread panicked. Okay, do I need to like restart you again? Yes, I did. Okay, so then if I say hi. Okay, unknown variant chat. Uh, cannot create expected create game or join room. Okay, so perfect. So this brings us to our actions. So this is going to be chat. So let's try this again. Okay, let's just do cargo run. Uh, apparently, cargo watch just stopped working with this. It's not like really resetting, which is actually wait, no, no, no. I've got an error. Never mind. Oh, well, that that explains that. Uh, okay, so message action. Fill the match arms. Um, come on, do that. Uh, okay, so when we have chat, uh, what do we want to do? Want to self handle? Join room. Okay, so we want to self action handle. So can you figure out what I want to do? Handle uh, chat. So we have a message as a custom message. And then the sender. I don't know if I need the sender. I think I, I think this is just all I need. Okay, so let's do that. And let's just debug. Uh, and we in chat. Here's the message. So I should get this message out twice. Then in here. Chat. Pass it the message. Okay, maybe maybe I was upset at cargo watching it was my fault. Okay, here we go. We get chat with the message, custom message. Um We need, so 
We need data to have that message come in. Which I think is still part of message here. So message data, we need message, which is an option string. Okay, that's that's good. Okay. All right, let's try it again. See if it works for us. Okay, message none. Then we say hi. And oh, message is still none. Well, that's okay. So handling chat, custom message none. Let's ensure that the message we're sending back is correct. So, in our API, let's build this message and then we can log it out. Okay, and if I send hi, oh, no errors, no nothing. Ooh, okay. So let's go back to our store, send chat message. Is this actually happening? Did I do this? Maybe this didn't get wired up. Okay, we get sending chat message. Uh, let's also double check like what this chat message is. Make sure it is what I think it is. Okay, it is what I think it is. Okay, there's that. Um, so then send chat message. We have the WebSocket and the chat message. So... Oh. I mean that that could help. It's it's a huge possibility that that could help a lot. I I don't know for certain. Um it's just a possibility. Okay, here we go. So sending the chat message, you didn't even get anything because we failed. Chat message C is not, oh, okay. I did notice that uh, Copilot put in a C. Let's try this again. Okay, there we go. Now we have a message. Hi, with a action chat. Okay. 
Perfect. Now, when we have this message, we want to now send this back. Uh, we want to broadcast this to everyone in the room. Okay, so that, that's great. Um, now, so I think we're in main state. We're handling incoming, no, we're handling chat message. That's here. We now have the chat message. Uh, so what do we want to go through? We want to find the room, find this specific room that we're, uh, that this is in and then broadcast that out. So I think that's going to be a let room. Okay, so let's think about this. Let room equals self that rooms iter mute find. So rooms is a vec of room. So iter mute find is correct here. Then we're getting our single room and room.id is equal to message dot data dot get room ID unwrap. I think I think that's correct. I think that's um, if we look at this, if that oh, it's going to be slightly different. If let some room equals and then here, here is where we would then have self rooms that air mute find room and then it's this room id equals message data get room id okay so that should all be correct and then down here what i want to do with it i guess we could just debug out right now the room to make sure we found it. Room ID doesn't exist. Okay, so no, almost found it. So this is message data. Uh, room ID doesn't exist. So the message data, oh yeah, room ID doesn't exist. Did we not put the room ID in this message? Like we have the set room ID on here, but did we not pass you in? Okay, set room ID. Okay. Oh, but I think you're undefined because we need the name and room ID. Okay, so name and room ID. Yeah, okay, so. So the name is gonna be state dot name I think um, and then the room ID is I think that room code yeah Here we go, we found the room. So now we want to send to everyone. Okay, so we found the room.
So we're going to do room dot broadcast to room. That's fine. And then the message. Okay, so then we need a message to go out for this. So that outgoing message is equal to we want a message builder. Yeah, I guess it's the custom message builder. Uh, Bear, hello, how are you doing today? Oh, don't, don't do that. Dot. Wait. What do you actually want? Um, okay, so we just have a bunch of these set. So, like, set action, this is going to be chat, right? So, action chat. Um, set data. I don't know if we can like easily do. Wait a second. That that's seem right. Yeah. Okay. Set player name. Um. Okay. So our player name is gonna be this message dot data dot get player name. You, okay, that seems right. Uh, then set the room ID. Message to get the room ID. App, okay, all that. And dot build. That gives us a custom message. All right, cool. You all didn't do what I wanted. So action chat. Um, oh, I suppose this could also just be message dot action. You can also just do that. Uh, okay, so set the room ID. Let's try that. Uh, and you, room broadcaster room. Oh. Yeah, room ID is an option, right? Okay, so you're all happy here then okay this is an outgoing oh outgoing message Okay, so, okay, we should get back now a message. Let's try it. Okay, so we've reset there. Create the game. Um, okay, so we get this object action chat with data inside that has does not have the message. It does not have the message, but it has the player name and room ID. So it has that at least. But um, OK, so that's a that's a problem. So we need it. OK, so here we have in message. We need the ability to set the message. Oh, wait, we have this. Wait, wrong, wrong one. Hold on. It's the other message. Here's the message here. Uh, we need a message builder. Let's 
message, option of a string. Okay, so set message, mute self, message to stir, return self. Okay, yeah, I can get behind that. Uh, then self that message equals some message to owned. Okay. And return self. Okay. And close. Nice. Um, and then in bailed. Okay, so grab the action out. Uh, data. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, never mind. We don't want this here. We're going to be throwing this into data, which is message data. So, which is this message right here. Okay. So, we want to do a set message. So, self dot data dot message. There we go. Okay, okay. Then back to our main state. Outgoing message, we do all these things. And then we want a set message. Um, this is going to be the incoming message. So we don't have a get message, but we probably should. So um Clemzy, hello. Good morning. Okay, so get message. We're gonna return a result with a stir in it. Okay. That works. Um So yep, okay. So if let some message equals self message, then okay this message. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna bail message doesn't exist. Okay. What is that? What is that? Okay. Then back to here. Um, oh, well, okay. Good, good afternoon for you. Uh, how are you doing today? Also, welcome from Germany. Okay, so we can get the message here. To set the message, okay? So, does, do, do you now work? Here it is. Okay, so we got the message hi there. Uh, oh, and message hi here. Okay, so now we have we have the actual message. Um, you, what are you yelling at me about? Handle oh, handle WebSocket messages. So in handle WebSocket messages, uh, expect string as a type, but found undefined. Oh, because of this command to action. So now we're going to need chat is probably going to be handle chat. So then Here's this handle chat here. Uh, we're going to take in this event. Um, let's. Because I think it's going to be event.message. Uh, event.data.message is really what gets added. So. event.data oh because event okay this is the event data i don't need that 
Copilot was actually correct and I was wrong. Well, that's rare. There we go. Okay, so high shows up there. And let's say I wanted to throw in like who the sender is as part of this message. So that's our chat, chat.view. So here we have this custom text field. Okay, so here's our, our messages here. I probably want something like a, what is it called? A, um, oh, I forgot the tag for it. I used to, I used to do this programming all the time and I've like forgotten everything. Um, there is a, a tag for going and just doing something in line. Um, Span, that's what it is, span. Um, okay, so we can do a span here uh, and then we can just do like a class equals, this is gonna be, actually we could use Emmet to be a little bit nicer here. Let's do span dot, um, like as a cat name, uh, and then inside of here we can do like sender name. So message dot sender. Um, this could be message dot uh, message. It thinks that I should do that, which kind of makes sense. Um, sure. Why, why not? Uh, okay. And we probably want you to be something like that um, then for this message when we pull this in oh, don't wait no, stop say uh, when we pull this in we're gonna commit event message we need to pull in like more than just so we're gonna have an object uh, we're gonna have the the sender, uh, which is going to be the event dot uh, player name. Oh, an event. Dot, oh, look at that. I think that's actually correct. And then that just pushes that in there. So I, I think this is good. Let's try this again. OK, that's working. Uh, this first message didn't work out too well. Uh, and I think that's because uh, when we get the joined message, we throw that into chat. Uh, we don't do this properly. Um, so in join room, oh, set message. No, oh, that's the wrong one. Handle join room, I think. Um, yeah, so then we handle join room, handle join room. Okay, so at chat message, uh, join the room. So probably what I wanna do here is have no, like this is an event, an event doesn't have a an actual message okay an event doesn't have a player so we, we would have to do something like this messages like that if we do that there it goes Join the room. Uh, so we probably want to do like then a view at 
BF. In here, okay. So for this span, we'll do a VF um, message dot sender. Okay, Brooks joined the room. Then I say hi. And Brooke says, hi. Okay, let's bring in another one. Go over there. Okay, this is going to be other. And we're going to join room 2149. Okay, other join the room. Uh, this says, hello. Other says hello, and then I say hi back again. Okay, that is working. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I think that means we have chat. Uh, okay, so in to do, I want to build a chat with other players. I think that's working now. Let's go ahead and clean up. Is there anything we want to do like to clean this up? There's like a bunch of stuff in here. I, I don't know what we're going to want to do with with these. Like if we want to like set colors for like the chat messages to have like a color for a player. I, I don't think I want to do that right now, but like because I don't know if chat is even going to be something that stays in because I don't know if like it's going to be useful. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave all of these. Like right now, I'm kind of using it as like a debugger. Like just to be able to see when somebody joins and leaves. Um, okay, so this is probably good. Cast out to the room. So these are all good. Uh okay. Go ahead and commit this up then. All right, so this is, uh, this is the front end. So we are, um, and send and receive uh, chat messages. And for you, handling chat messages. Right. What's next? 